Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and yes, I finally have my Zeiss lenses installed in the Vision Pro. And let me just tell you, this thing is so much fun. It's like a tech person's dream. It's Minority Report, it's Lawnmower Man, it's all those movies wrapped into one. It's dystopian, it's weird, it's cool, and it's fun. It's just plain fun. I'm having a great time with this thing. And the reality is, is I'm gonna wind up returning it because it costs so much money, I'm gonna have to wait for the next round that comes out. But I really really wanted to give it a full test without someone standing over me. Normally I don't like returning products, but for this I just decided to go for it, put it on my Apple card, and then return it within the 14 day window. But anyway, I'm here to show you some stuff that you can do with this thing that I haven't seen any other YouTuber show you. First thing I'm going to do is just open the applications. And I'm also going to get rid of all the Shrek in the background. This will make it very cool. So we're not touching Safari or music or Apple TV. No, sir. We're gonna go to the Files app, okay? Now, if you go up to the three little dots up there, connect to server. And I already have my Mac Pro 5.1 and my Mac Pro 2013 set up via file sharing and I have already connected to them. So you just got to go into file sharing and get the address and then connect through that button up there, connect to server. Okay, so first we're going to look at iCloud Drive. And this is my iCloud Drive and you can put up there whatever you want. Of course, you're limited to your storage, but here's a folder of photos. Okay, so I'm just gonna open a photo. Hey, there's me with Sting and Shaggy. Sting and Shaggy and Lance, how about that? So there it is sitting out there in space. Now, in the Apple's photo app, you can only look at one picture at a time, but with this, there's the George Washington Bridge, folks. I'm gonna move that over here. And I'm gonna make it huge. There it is. So now I've got two photos open. And I can open as many photos as I want. Let's just find another one. Okay, nice flower shot taken with my Nikon. And I've opened raw images. I'm gonna put that way over here. I don't know how much of that is in the view of the screen recording, but you get the idea. I can open as many photos as I want and place them all around me. Open two photos. And of course you can make it as large as you want. And you can zoom in. Watch that. Wow. I mean, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. Now let's go a step further and we're gonna go to we're gonna go to my 2013 Mac Pro. And I've got videos that I've put on here. These are not Apple TV or Apple, you know, iTunes videos that I bought. These are videos I've personally recorded and I can have all my media on beck and call this way. So we're gonna open up the folder, Fire Stick Movies, Blade Runner, okay? I'm gonna open that up. It's loading. There it is, folks, Blade Runner. And I'm not gonna play it, but you get the idea. There's Blade Runner. And of course, I can make it huge. make it small. So now let's go back to my folder. All right, let's open the resort. I haven't watched that. I do like horror movies. So you get the idea. I've got two movies open now. Again, you can't do that with Apple TV. You can only open one movie at a time. Now you can only play one movie at a time, but you can have them open. So I'm gonna play a snippet of that. And we're gonna play just a hint of Blade Runner. You're hurt. 
So you got the idea. I am surrounded by my media. So now I'm going to go to my Mac Pro 5,1 and I'm going to go to the 2 terabyte SSD and I'm going to go to one of my projects. Uh, let's grab a short. So here's a short getting opened up. Look at all these things I have open at one time from different sources. We got iCloud, we got two Mac Pros, I have a Mac Mini, I got my MacBook Pro. They are all accessible. Now, let's do this. I am now going to take this file and copy it onto the Apple Vision Pro. See the little plus sign? I let go, and there it is. It's copying. It is now ready to go wherever I want to go with no internet connection needed on my Apple Vision Pro. So now I've got it open twice. One's in the cloud, one is on Apple Vision Pro. And that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Immersive. Now look at this, guys. I'm completely immersed. I'm gonna wind up punching my microphone. I mean, you get the idea, right? Whoops, there's my mic. So cool. And the visuals in this is unbelievable. Look at my hands. And this is the 3D model app. You can see the little jet engine down to the left there, but I'm using their drawing tool and basically drawing in the air in 3D. It's really wild. Is that not insane? Stick man. That is crazy. And you can do drawings in Apple Notes. Uh, this is my first NFT. <laughs> not. But uh, it's so smooth and tracks your fingers perfectly. So I think artists would really like this with, you know, good drawing programs. So here I am in my kitchen with some of these stock Apple apps open, Apple Music, and I also have Apple TV open. And you can just place these things around in the room. I'm sure you've seen this already, but it is pretty cool. Now I found that they don't stay exactly where you left them, especially if you walk out of the room. They seem to move around. I couldn't get them to just stick and completely stay where they are. If you're standing still, then yes. But if you walk towards them, they tend to move. But walking through one of these windows, that's pretty wild. And it's just plain white on the other side. So you walk back through the window, and there I am back in the kitchen. My egg timer disappeared. And yeah, now they're kind of back where I left them. But I'm also in my original position. Now, what you can't tell by looking at it here is how three-dimensional the orb is. It is so cool. It looks like a translucent ball with electricity going through it. It's totally three-dimensional. You can walk around it. You feel like you can just reach out and grab it. So I set up an egg timer for my egg. Very exciting stuff. Even in a pretty well-lit room, when you're just looking at your regular space, it looks like you're looking at camera footage. And if you're in low light, sort of like right here, the picture starts to get very noisy. Now, of course, this video is only 720p, and it's pretty low quality. It's too bad they don't let you shoot in 4K to do the screen capture, but they don't. But what you're seeing looks so much better than what this video looks like. And there's practically no latency with the video that you're seeing, so you can walk around and not bump into things. You know, there might be a tiny bit of latency, but it's very minimal. You know, I don't know where this is all going, but I gotta say, it's freaking awesome that they're rolling the dice on this because it is just amazing. What it's gonna do for mankind and all that, who knows? People might go into this and never come out. 
On a side note, I just want to say that this works great. The 3D immersiveness totally works for me, and I only really see with my right eye. I have peripheral vision with my left eye, but everything is always out of focus in a major way. If I lost my right eye, I wouldn't be able to drive a car, for instance. 3D, in theory, really shouldn't be working for me, but it totally does. And Apple's immersive videos and the 3D movies like Avatar and Spider-Man, they all just work. It's it's really cool. And while 3D sort of worked in the movie theater with the two different colored lenses, it didn't work that well. But 3D just works with the Apple Vision Pro, even if you only see with one eye. So stay tuned. I'm definitely going to do another video on it before I return it. It's just nice to see that Apple's thinking different again. I would say that, that, that they are. They're definitely rolling the dice with this thing, but I can see it becoming very mainstream in the near future. So thumbs up to Apple and Tim Cook for following through on this one. And, you know, go to your Apple store and check it out. Definitely worth a test run. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.